So hello everyone and welcome back to another Power BI update. This time it is for April 2022. My name is Rodolfo from Curval.com and I'm going to show you what the new updates are. So they start this update the same as last month. The format, new format pane, you won't be able to change it back to the old one in May. So make sure you get used to it, you give feedback if there's something that is not working because next month is there. You won't be able to change it back. So they are also letting us know that there will be a new setting on the global settings for Power BI Desktop where you can actually expand all subcategories in the format pane at once. Really neat. I'm definitely going to turn that on. They have made some changes in the format pane. So they have added back a ton of features that were missing and also they've made the following changes. So for the matrix and the table, you will have the option to do all the outline formatting on the grid card in the format pane, right? Um, I have made those changes on the JSON and the theme file if you have purchased that from Kerbal.com. So it is updated to this version. And not only that, if you noticed on the new format pane, you have only four options. You have top, button, left and right. On the old format pane, you had also like top and button and left and right. Those things still work. Even if they are not present on the user interface, I tested and they still work. So again, if you get the JSON file, you will have the new options and the old one and you can choose any one. Okay. They've now also added the possibility to condition to format the row grand totals and the row grand totals and the column grand totals separately, right? Before you, we had just one grand total, now we have row and column. And also I have made the changes on the JSON and guide, so it's up to date. If you purchase it, go download it, okay? So for visuals that have legends like the bar charts, column charts, there are two new options now. You have the position for the legend can be top right and bottom right. Unfortunately, they've changed the name of the existing ones. So when you want to have a legend at the right or at the left, they've called it top left stacked and top right stacked. I mean, probably makes a lot of sense for native English speakers, but it just, I wish they would have kept at least top left and top right. Uh, but yeah, just so you know, they, it's not called left and right anymore. So they have now added support for drill downs and drill tips and tall tips on more visuals. So now we have it for the matrix, the line charts, the array charts, and the stacked array charts. A user consuming a report that was based on a composite model, they needed build permissions in order to access it. Now they have changed that, so now there is a read permission that you can you know, set for that. Unfortunately, it's just for premium and premium per user, which it makes absolutely no sense to me. So hopefully they will change that soon because that is also needed for pro licenses. It wouldn't make any sense. That, why is that a license thing? It shouldn't be. Now, error bars, if you remember from last month, they have error bars on line charts. Now there are also for bar and column charts, which probably are the most common for this type of error bar. So this is great. So they have updated now the behavior of the bookmark navigation. So let's say that you have two navigation panes, one for country and the one, another one for decade. Before, you could only have one selected. So you just click on country and then you click on decade. The country got you know, cleared out. Now that's not happening anymore. You can actually have both selected, both on country and on decade. So they are continuing doing changes or updates to goal functionality. The first one is that you will be able to select multiple goals and change states, owners and delete owners. And the second one is that there is a banner now that will tell you if the owner of a goal does not have, does not have access to it. Okay, so it will let you know like, hey, this person does not know that it has a goal assigned to them. Okay. On the mobile, there are two new notifications for goals. So the first one is when somebody has assigned you a goal, you will get a notification. The other one is when somebody has mentioned you in a check-in, so you'll know that somebody is trying to tell you something about a goal. 
So this is all for this month. If you have a favorite, let me know in the comment box. If I made something, just also let me know so we all know. And I will see you again in the next video.